Hey team. So we're gonna season the steak for shaved steak tacos. I'm taking the plastic off of the um, container because we no longer need that. We're starting with um, sea salt, heavy dose, and then Trader Joe's barbecue seasoning. It's a barbecue, uh, barbecue rub and seasoning with coffee and garlic because we love garlic in this house. Chipotle powder, just a little bit. Black peppercorn, and a very little bit of garlic salt. We're gonna use real garlic when we saute. So we've got our meat. Um, we're leaving it in the package, and the reason that we're gonna um, season it first is we're gonna let it sit for a little bit to come down to room temperature so that we're not cooking it super cold. Um, you don't wanna cook meat right out of the fridge. It's not great for the meat itself, and um, it, it kind of uh, messes with the um, cooking process itself. So I'm going to grind up my pepper. Gabe likes to go this way. I like pre-grinding it. It's the only way. <laughs> he says it's the only way. I disagree. Um, we're going to go heavy pour of salt. I don't like this. Yeah. Gabe always says, take the amount that you would salt something and quadruple it. Now we're going to go rub. Heavy rub. <laughs> and then a little bit of garlic salt. We keep our door open all the way, so we see our neighbors all the time. And then we're gonna go just a little bit of chipotle powder. So I'm gonna put it in the cap so I can see how much I'm getting out of there. I only put a little, little bit in there, but then I'm gonna spread it around. And now the gross part I'm going to mix it all up and then I'm going to do the same thing again. So it gets kind of messy, just a heads up. If you have gloves, you might want to use gloves. I don't, so I'm going to go bare hands, make sure my hair ties don't get in the grossness. Um, and then we're just going to kind of mix around, making sure the reason that we're mixing it is because it is shaved steak. So there's super, super thin layers of steak. Um, so we want to make sure that everything gets covered kind of spreading it around, picking the pieces apart, make sure that everything gets covered. And then we're gonna do the same thing again, but I am gonna wash my hands before I touch anything else. But I wanna make sure that these pieces all get covered and they all get some good spices. This shaved steak is like one of our favorite dishes to make because the steak itself the steak itself cooks really well and it's pretty lean you can see there's some pieces that have the marbling so it's it's got some pieces that have fat which will give it flavor um, but for the most part it's pretty red which means that it's um, leaner cuts of meat mixing it around and then what I'm gonna do as I'm like mixing it and se separating the pieces is I'm gonna actually turn it upside down so that I can get to the pieces that were at the very bottom and then season those. So it's kind of therapeutic. And then I'm not saying this is 100% correct, but based on my guess, by also moving it around and spreading it around with your hands, you're gonna also warm up the meat a little bit, which is ideal for cooking, because then it'll cook a little bit more evenly. So that's always a good thing. All right, I got most of the pieces all separated. 
And then I'm going to wash my hands. And then I'm going to do it again. Round two, so same thing again. We're gonna get peppercorn. I don't like doing it this way because I feel like the peppercorns flash up in my face. It's like a lot, it's a lot. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You, you don't smell it like it's filling my nostrils. I might have to shower today. Hmm. Is that in the video now? Yes. And then a heavy pour of salt one more time. I'm not gonna lie to you, sometimes it makes me really uncomfortable the amount of salt that you use to cook meat with. Wait, what is that that you have? A little bit of garlic salt. That's what we did last time. Like, V touch, and then chipotle powder. <laughs> Too much. Whoops. That's why you go cap. That's why you go cap, it's true. So, same little, little bit. Spread it around so that it's not all clumped in one spot. The rest of the cap can go in the sink. Okay. So same thing one more time. I'm gonna also mix this side in. Um, we're gonna let this sit now for probably an hour maybe a little bit less, um, but it's gonna kinda come to room temperature. I'm gonna cover it um, just so that nothing gets in it and that it's not just raw meat sitting out uncovered. And then um, I'm gonna wash my hands. And then that is how you make the rub. What's up team? So, Yesterday, we put a rub on this meat. We're gonna take it out, we just took it out of the fridge and we're gonna let it sit now to come to room temperature. And then from there, um, I'm gonna heat up the pan once this has had some time to come out of the fridge, heat up a little bit. So we're not cooking it right from cold. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so stove is on. We're going to start to add this meat to the pan. You want to try and spread it so that it's not all clumping in one area. You want to try and get as much of the meat in the pan, touching it as possible. And that's going to cook pretty quickly. So I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm just watching so that it's browning. And then I'm gonna stir as it browns to make sure that it's cooking through evenly. I just realized I forgot to put the onions in. Get that chopped up anymore? I chopped them up already. Turn this off because it doesn't need to be on anymore. But we're 
toasting some tortillas in the back. Meat looks good. Let's see if you can see those tortillas. If you're not doing it over, over an open flame, you're not doing it right. Okay, but here's the thing. Safety first, so if you don't feel comfortable toasting a corn tortilla over an open flame, obviously we get it. Nope. You can also... I don't, I don't, <laughs> nope, I don't, I don't get, get it. it. I don't get it. Um, you can also put them in, do you think you could do it in a, um, in the um, oven? You can do can it you in, toast it in the oven? Yeah, you can do it in a skillet. Also, if you want to really just warm them up, you can throw them in the microwave. You can also put them in the microwave. Super safe version. But open flame is the, the problem. <laughs> um, and I'm going to make a salad. That's how you guarantee that you're firing on yourself. Don't set the fire alarm off. Not really cool. Mila hates when we cook because we always set the fire alarm off because we're also in a very short space. So the fire alarm is very close to where we cook. Not ideal. Or I guess it is ideal safety wise. So we are putting a salad, one or two. Let's go two. We're putting a salad together. We've got spinach and cruciferous crunch from Trader Joe's. Because if you know me, you know that I love Trader Joe's. And then with this salad, we're going rosé vinaigrette. Also from Trader Joe's. There's not a lot left, so I'm going to just kind of kill this bottle. That's about a tablespoon. And then I'm going to toss very specifically. And this is our very fancy salad serving bowl because we don't have any fancy things um, and that's our delicious meal so look at those roasted corn tortillas yummy delicious steak and then a beautiful salad <laughs>